here I am with uh, my good friend Frankie. We're in Victoria, Manchester. Frankie, we want to talk about uh, the retreat that we both coached on uh, last year. What, 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 what's your feedback on, on, on that experience? That retreat, that experience in Malaga was, was just incredible, wasn't it, John? A beautiful place. It was in a nice little valley. Great hotel. Fantastic food. People really friendly. Time to ourselves. We did loads of spiritual meditation. We did martial arts, didn't we, John? We had some great food. We had some good laughs. We went to see the city and talk. And we got to bond with some really good people there. We got yeah, to... I think there are three important aspects there. Uh, let's talk about the hotel first of all, and then uh, talk about the food, yeah. and then also let's. Uh, Let's, let's talk about the friends that we made on yeah. it because it's great we have a shared experience then you come back and then as you said you know you, you've you been in contact uh, with those guys those guys have been in contact with you so you do you make friends uh, because of the shared experience but I want to just first of all let, let's let's look at the hotel and um, the, uh, the the food how did you find the hotel? I thought the hotel was excellent John clean People were very friendly, they had their own rooms, had your own space, and the food, you couldn't beat the food. I mean, John, the hotel was in a nice little valley, wasn't it? Very picturesque, they had a swimming pool in there, they had time to chill out, they had food where we ate in the actual hotel, we could take the food outside, we even got transport as well where we could look after to go into town. So the hotel was just absolutely amazing, like a, a really old, Historian hotel with a lot of history there, wasn't it, John? Some yeah, definitely, pictures, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And you know, seeing you in the the, the way that comes it. comes to mind. It, yeah, the fair, it, it's rustic. That, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that, that's the thing. That, that, that's the way that comes to my mind. It just had the rustic feel about it, and I think uh, it was almost like uh, old Spain. Not saying that the settings or the rooms were old fashioned. It just that it had a uh, bit of furniture that sort of uh, made you think that kind of way. The, the, the setting itself. Yeah. So uh, everything, uh, everything about it was. Uh, was very comfortable. The beds were very comfortable. You've got your own uh, en suites in every room. It's basically it's yeah, it's yeah, job. yeah, that's Your right. Bathrooms, everything you want. You want a little balcony, amazing view of the actual Isnahar, the place where we stay in. Yeah, and it's warm as well, John. You know, you've got the heat. Especially that, it uh, makes a big <laughs> you difference. Know, so when you've got the heat as Definitely well. Beautiful food, massive difference. Nice place to stay in friendly people. Mm, that's that's what you need for the retreat, yeah. the spiritual to do your spiritual meditation, your mood time, your martial arts, and everything what we do to look after the people there and do our culture and mentally. Is that right, John? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, hundred yeah, percent. It's a better place, could yeah. you? Yeah, I, I, I think I think setting. You're, you're absolutely right. It's, it's so important, as is the food, because the food's all locally sourced and it's all natural, so it's not wrapped up in things. It comes. To the hotel, uh, you know, you order beef or chicken, whatever it, it, it comes in, 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 in almost like a carcass, and and then they're the ones that are cutting. So everything's very fresh uh, within there. The fruit, the the, the the salads, everything's extremely fresh. But what I wanted to do is is um, it's also talk about this retreat that's coming up in the third of October to the eighth of October called the Mindful Escape. And, and what this is about, it's about using uh, body language and about language skills to try and defuse, to de-escalate situations. Because we've all been in those situations in life where sometimes uh, someone's losing and maybe a bit of focus, getting a bit excitable, and you, you've said something, and, and before you know, the, the situation's gone out of, completely out of kilter, and things are getting set. And uh, what we're using is learning how to use language that can prevent, can de-escalate those type of situations, so people don't feel, they're not challenged, and you're more aware of the language that, that you're going to use. And what, where we're leading, or where we're actually taking this to, is so people feel more confident about that, the language that they're using, the body language, the way that they're, um, the way that they're expressing themselves when they're dealing with people, uh, coming across more confident, but at the same time, uh, not threatening. And these are uh, essential life skills, uh, Frankie. What do you think? Definitely essential life skills. I mean, I know it's conflict management as well, John. Conflict management is really, really important to diffuse, to diffuse any situation, especially danger, or to try and, you know, resolve 
and I'm gonna, you know, your body language and your tone of voice and the way you carry yourself is really, really important. And if you get that right, you're always gonna win out in a situation or be calm in that situation I, I, or knowing I, I, how to approach it, John. Yeah, oh, you know, how, how you approach it, hundred percent right. Do you know, I always said that you know, having a win, winning smile and 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 and, uh, and an easy way of talking actually brings people down a lot as well. You know, and these are skills that we can learn to actually uh, defuse a, a situation before it gets out of hand. But having gone through all those skills and, and having looking at that ways of diffusing things, then w w we start looking at ways of observing, uh, being aware of your environment that you're in. So you're looking for ways to, uh, if you had to make a key, key, uh, quick escape, how are you going to actually do it? You know, so th they're the topics we're actually going to cover, and I think that being aware, because there's sometimes that we've gone into places and we're, we're not uh, aware of how we'd get out of them, and it, it just even think from a safety perspective, sometimes you're in a crowded room or if there was a fire, just being aware of it, but then beginning to train your eye to actually look for these things. How do you think that fits in, 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 in into today's world? I think in today's world, we live in a very, very violent world, don't we, John? And this world, yeah, there's a lot of people who are probably feeling that, you know, you can be attacked at any place, you know, especially in the UK, you can be attacked anywhere. Conflict management, like what John says, knowing how to deal with certain situations and acting on impulse, acting at that moment, knowing what to do is really, really crucial. That's why it's important that you come and John, when we do our retreats, that you come on these courses to see how to deal with certain situations. Sometimes you've got to act on impulse and you've got to do that at the right moment and in the right time to diffuse a situation where your life could be in danger. So that's really important that people need these skills, you know, to learn these so that they can deal with certain situations on impulse but in a very professional manner and the right attitude to resolve situations and conflicts yeah I, I think instinctively you use the word impulse and, and I'm sure what, what we're, we're talking about is being instinctive and yeah. that and that the acting on instinct comes from practice it's being aware of the situation so what we're trying to do is create patterns of behavior within you so you automatically respond in that particular way in a way that's going to put you in more control and uh, that's exactly where uh, Frankie wants to take you and that's exactly where I want to take you in a lovely environment and I think most importantly when you move away from your day to day and you put your day to day down and you've got things on your mind but suddenly your focus is taken elsewhere that's the very time that uh, solutions to your everyday things come up so it, it really we're tackling two things and that's because we're giving you more focus in somewhere else in your life you're actually going to deal far better by being completely out of the environment which you're normally in so it's an opportunity to get out of that environment create space and uh, and uh, make solutions for yourself more importantly I, I think it's worth saying, you know, this is fantastic. It's full board in a beautiful hotel, fantastic swimming pool, marvelous sight, but the price is unbelievable. Have a look at it, because you're gonna be really amazed. So I'm asking you to look in the, um, in the comment section, have a look at the prices that are there. And when you look at the prices for all the activity, for the full board, for your hotel, being in the sun, out of the cold weather, and the rain as we have today. Yeah. When you're in that situation, a bit you, of fun, a bit of self-discipline, a bit of laughter, camaraderie, building friendships, getting to know yourself on a deeper level, getting to build, you know, you know, your true character of who you are, getting away, being in that sun yeah, with food and nice hotel. What more can you ask for? Reasonable price as well, great prices. A lot of friendly people and great people. Absolutely. What more can you ask for? You yeah. couldn't ask for any more. And uh, so all I'll say is uh, how to get in contact with us will be in, in the comments section. Please just uh, directly message us and uh, we'll send the information over to you.